Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Nicole and I'm a blind mom and wife. We decided to try something new today on our channel. As a mostly at home parent, I do a lot of cleaning. So we decided to try a clean with me video. I often find other YouTubers described clean with me videos to be super motivating. So I hope you enjoy this. I'm starting off in the kitchen, hand washing the dishes that require it. We hand wash knives, anything that may not withstand the heat of the dishwasher, and some kitchen tools. In this video, I've used Ajax lemon scented dish soap. We've been trying it out, but it's not my favorite. We're switching back to ivory dish soap, which we use largely during the winter months. We live in Minnesota and the struggle is real here, people, with the cold temps and dry air affecting our bodies and skin. Everyone's different, but I'm blind and I genuinely dislike wearing rubber gloves. They tend to mute my sense of touch just enough to really irritate me. So even though I know that I should be wearing rubber gloves, I really prefer to keep my hands bare. If you like this type of video, or if it gives you a little needed motivation, give it a thumbs up. That lets me know that you like this type of video or content, and that you want more of it. I've moved on to cleaning our countertops and sink. I use my dishcloth for most of this, on a daily basis, and a SKOY, S-K-O-Y, scrubbing cloth in the sink. I use a 50-50 mix of all-purpose cleaner and hot water in a spray bottle for the countertops and the inside of the sink. I spray the countertops and the inside of the sink and wipe down the counters using an S pattern from wall to edge or back to front. Shout out to the Clean My Space channel for the tip. I've been doing it this way for a while now and it works really well. I allow the sink to sit with the cleaner for a while and then clean with my cloth and the SCOI scrub cloth if needed. Comment question of the day. What's your least favorite cleaning chore? My least favorite chore is definitely laundry. I feel like it's literally never ending and I really like the feeling of actually completing a job. Today I'm doing a pretty quick clean and tidy of our kitchen and living room. I also have a kitchen table stacked high with paperwork, but that's for another video. I personally hate paperwork and paper clutter. Is it just me? Paperwork and mail are things I have to prod myself to deal with. I tend to procrastinate something fierce with them. Once I've wiped down the counters, I go over them with a kitchen towel to dry and shine them. We keep one kitchen towel out for hands and counters and one that is only used for dishes. Next, I lay flat the counter and hand towel so that I can lay our stove grates on it without scratching the granite counter. This cleanup took place on a Monday, so our stove top had acquired some crumbs over the weekend. Once I'm done, I replace the stove grates and move on to wiping down our stainless steel appliances. I begin with the front of the stove, then onto the dishwasher. This time, I'm just using hot soapy water and drying after I've cleaned. I clean the appliances from top to bottom with an S pattern from side to side. I'm just finishing the screen of the stove where the oven buttons and the stove knobs are. You guys, I have always hit buttons when I'm cleaning this area of our stove. And I just learned, like just this weekend, that there's a lock button to disable the touch screen when you clean. Seriously, we've lived here for five years and looking at replacement appliances is what taught me about this. <laughs> With our fridge, which I come to last, I do each side separately, since it's a freezer, fridge, side by side.
I'm just finishing up in the kitchen and moving on to the living room where you will see how super helpful Picasa and Figaro are. If you're new to our channel, Figaro is my current guide dog and Picasa is my retired guide dog who we adopted as our pet here at home. Before moving on to the living room, I also lit the yellow candle from the earlier part of the video. It's a white barn or Bath & Body Works candle in the scent Lemoncello. Lemon is one of my absolute favorite scents. It's just so clean and fresh, especially when winter in Minnesota means being inside a lot of the time. Those of you who can see, can see that Figaro is lying on the floor in the middle of the living room and Picasa is partially hidden. She's lying by the front of the couch. Both are just chilling. This is pretty much what they do when they're off duty. They're just part of our family. In the living room, I start by dusting surfaces above our fireplace, our shelves, our TV stand. Though you'll probably notice I didn't do a ton with the TV stand because I'd just done that area a couple days ago. This media center or TV stand my husband has had since before we were together. I really didn't like it at first, but it grew on me over time. It has these beautiful lit glass shelves on either side of the TV area, but my biggest pet peeve about it is all the dust that collects on the glass shelves, and so quickly. Unrelated to cleaning, we are hoping to have the area above our fireplace and shelves rewired so that we can move our TV up there. We would rehome the pretty TV stand, but the change would give us some more space as well. I've moved on to wiping down the face of the fireplace with some all-purpose cleaner and a white cleaning cloth with hot water. I had dusted this area already, so this allows me to get the fireplace glass and vents just a little more clean. We actually don't use this fireplace at all right now. We need to get it looked at. It hasn't been functional for quite a while and I really miss having a pretty fire on cold winter evenings. Man, I sound like a sappy Hallmark card. <laughs> Have any of you noticed that in all of my running around, neither of the pups have moved more than a couple of inches? I'm glad they're so cozy. <laughs> I'm finally moving on to vacuuming the living room. We have a red Miele Upright vacuum. We got it probably five years ago and it was the first expensive vacuum that I had gotten in my life. I made my husband pay for it because most big purchases like that, even if I'm happy about it, make me feel sick to my stomach. I know it's weird, but I've been that way my entire life. You'll see that the pups finally move a little bit for the vacuum. Picasso doesn't care about the vacuum at all but Figaro doesn't exactly love it. As far as blindness techniques go, I try to keep an overall layout of the room that I'm vacuuming in my head and cover areas by overlapping the path of the vacuum. Also, while I can't see them anymore, I am one of those people who loves to make the lines in the carpet when vacuuming. <laughs> when we had this carpet installed, that was a serious requirement of mine, that it would make the vacuum lines, that it could handle the worst messes from our dogs and children, and that it would be soft and cozy for our family since we we all sit on the floor just about as much as we sit on the furniture. We seriously love this carpet so much. It's called Smart Strand. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> but seriously, we've been very, very happy with it. Ooh, I'm excited to be all done. I'm gonna show you guys the pups just for some fun. Casa! <laughs> Hey, Casa. I think you got a bone. Do you want a bone, Casa? What bone did you get? Ooh, you got a Christmas bone. Casa, do you want a turkey leg? Maybe. Oh, neck scratches, huh? The best. My next tasks are um, going through loads and loads of paperwork. And it looks like more than it is, but um, we have a lot of papers, school papers, papers I need to organize, and then these are actually braille books in the case for the braille books. 
some documents that need it, like this box needs to be sent. These need to be um, organized. They celebrate half birthdays at every school since hers is a summer birthday. So we got these party packs of wiki sticks for her half birthday. And then she asked us for um, Link and Zelda Valentines. You know, there's her Triforce, right, on the door. I think I've shown you guys that before. That's her Triforce that she made. She's like Link and Zelda obsessed right now. Obsessed. We got these bookmarks off of Amazon. I got the Wiki Sticks party packs off of Amazon as well. Sorry about the glare, but I wanted to show you guys, aren't these the coolest? Abby, are these the coolest Valentines? Uh huh. Seriously. So here, there, I just tied on the Valentine that Devin created to the little bookmark. So I'm gonna let you guys go while I take care of all the paperwork. But I wanna say thank you to you for joining us today on our channel and joining me today for this quick cleanup of our kitchen and living room. I hope you enjoyed our first attempt at a clean with me video. And if you'd like to see more of these, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here, we would love it if you'd stick around and subscribe to our channel. We share family and lifestyle content, some related to blindness and service dogs, some related to being a parent of a child on the autism spectrum, some mom and at-home parent content, and some things just allowing you to join in our crazy family and life. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks so much for joining us today, and we'll see you next time.